Hello everyone, welcome back on this semi sunny. That's a bit hard to say. Semi sunny day in March 2022. Yeah, it was sort of sunny a little while back, but yeah, the sun's run away. Scared by the English weather. Right, less waffling, less more explaining. A while back, if you watched Mailbog 2. You see that uh, Robin kindly gave us this super duper uh, new 45 watt 50 volts uh, Weller TCP soldering iron and some tips. He also gave us um, this stand, a transformer, and a Borgin 3 duty uh, three way thingy same as on my 24 volt 45 watt one oh, is that the same 45 watts yeah so um, this one has got a longer lead this iron over here let's try and move stuff this iron here hasn't got such a long lead it's a nice silicon rubber and I'm forever when I'm soldering I pick it up and if I've left like a Something like that on that goes on the floor. It's like silly. So this will give me some extension, beautiful new iron, etc. Later on in the video I shall cover this one as well, uh, cleaning the contacts and a little relay type thing in there. So loathed if I am as I am to take this lovely um what do you call it? 6.3 Oh, I don't know, what is it, a quarter inch jack thingy, this jack thingy, I mean, isn't that just beautiful? I don't want to take that off, but I haven't got it, I haven't got a socket. So, using an old ATX power supply uh, thingy, I will now build a little soldering station thing, basically by bunging that in there, connecting that, uh, an old, where do you call it, mains lead, We've got a couple of sort of proto holes there if you can see. We'll screw that on there, bung that in there, blah blah blah, and we should have a new iron. Well I've just took this jack off and isn't that a bobby dazzler? Isn't that just a booty? Oh yeah. That must be machined brass. That must be machined you know tapped and everything that wasn't made on a CNC machine that has been oh I'm in love with it what a shame I can't use it for now that's got to be military spec or something like that I mean that is just that's a perler in it I don't know anyway I would just wanted to show you its loveliness uh, interestingly we've got uh, it's one, two, it is like tip, ring, sleeve, but interestingly the earth was brought out to this other lovely machine bit of brass. I uh, don't know why, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that and uh, I shall try and figure out how the hell it goes back together. Well, that's it sort of put together. All the essentials are there apart from one thing. Can you see what it is? I'll give you the answer in a minute. And this is, as you can see, this is the no load. Go on then. And come on, there you go, and load. So it four to, what was that? 46.4, which is okay. Uh, the other slight problem is the spring's a little bit weaker than on the one over there. Right, so you, did you guess what it was? Where are we? No bloody on and off switch. See? Uh, so we're going to knock that off and then fit an on and off switch. 
So apart from that, yeah. So do you put the on and off switch? Yeah, if I put, oh, I'm really screwed up there, and I really we should switch the mains off, shouldn't we? Rather than the 50 volts. Otherwise, that's just going to be energized all the time, isn't it? See, I've got underneath there. Right, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Right, underneath there, I've got like a spare main socket, but it's not switched. Right, okay, so I've really bogged up there then, haven't I? So we need to put a switch somewhere then. Ah, bugger. I knew I'd forget, I knew I'd forget something. Jesus Christ. Oh, JD, jobs are good and... No, that's wrong. Oh, JD, jobs, JD... What the fuck are you talking about? JD, job done. Jobs are good and... Out of sight and far out. As they say in Yorkshire. Oh, I'm fucking rambling as usual. Yep, right, so yeah, all good. Antex, it ain't Antex, it's a well, so it's a well X. On the offy switchy. Boop, boop, boop. All the modern, uh, where do you call it? Cable grippy thing with integral handcrafted wooden wedging piece aeration holes room for a fan if we need one which we don't uh, yeah not much to say is there in this um, where do you call it in this video I shall include footage of cleaning the contacts on yon what the frig's it called? Soldering iron! Yon soldering iron over there because the thing is with these wellers, I mean, you know, they're not uh, fancy than uh, yon soldering irons like, you know, that heat to 500 bloody degrees centigrade in three seconds and temperature controlled newfangled jobbies like that, but uh, they do the job, they work, they go, you know. Simple but um, effective. The only bone I've got to bloody pick is the frigging bits. Now then, these bits that Robin gave me are old, new old, new old stock. These are good, but the uh, ones I bought in the last few years are utter shit, and that is swearing. Uh, well, you see, I'll show you the bleeding evidence. You want evidence? Here's the friggin' evidence, your lordship. Exhibit one, your lordship. Exhibit two. Exhibit three. Now, but butts left, and I dare say I've got another one somewhere. I know I have. You're talking about seven quid each for these friggin' things, right? And when they only last like less than six months, it isn't very good, is it? So the old ones seem to last a lot better. And these ain't, you know, these ain't cheap Chinese shit copies like from Kathmandu. They were, um, you know, bought from Farnell, proper jobbies. So yeah, that's the only downside to these TCP irons, is the new tips are crap. That said, Robin has provided me with quite a few various bits. If they last as long as that one in there, then they shall outlast me. I shall shuffle off the mortal coil. Somebody else can have the iron. There we go. Jobs are good. Right, I'm rambling. It's time for a cup of tea. I'll put the uh, doodard a bit about cleaning the iron in there. Ta-da for now.